Reality Files. Today we're doing a comprehensive guide for psychokinesis. Anybody, start to finish, how you can feel, move, and activate energetic systems, connect with an object, and see it firsthand how this stuff works, how it happens, and that it's real. This is a great video for anybody that's skeptical about psychic abilities, about psychokinesis, for anybody who's looking to maybe start venturing into these paranormal mystical realms but ultimately this video and this guide is a great way for everyone to actually have first-hand experience and feel subtle energy manipulate energy and connect to an external system this can really open your eyes the fastest way first-hand experience is the only way to truly know something so everyone let's get started first thing we need to do we need to clear the mind okay so mindfulness meditation however long that takes you depending if you have a daily meditation practice installed we want to think about nothing relax the entire body and keep the mind moving and flowing do not actually focus on anything let all thoughts occur don't try to stop thinking but listen to your thoughts as if they're outside the car window don't pay attention, don't connect to any certain thing. Let everything flow out of your body and just relax. We don't need to think about energy, we don't need to feel. All we need to do is completely relax the mind and body. This plus this cleans the slate and allows us to start venturing in to extrasensory perception and psychokinesis with an open, clear mind. So breathe deeply. Second, we want to use our imagination to activate energy flow, to connect with our environment, connect with our hands, connect with the object. So activate energy flow. What we're gonna do is imagine an aura of light around us, moving and swirling. And this aura is emanating from the heart center, okay? And what we're gonna do is gonna breathe in light and energy through the ground, through the cosmos into your heart center and expand that to your aura on the exhale. This is activating chi flow. Okay, this is very key. So after we have our imagination and visualization engaged, we're starting to build a connection and relationship with the infinite energy around us. And we're starting to get that, that flow, right? energizing everything but maintaining a tranquil body maintaining a tranquil mind now we're ready to start getting into it the last thing we're going to talk about right here is the environment so you, you might notice that i have three crystals set up right here this is a quartz crystal which is an energy amplifier a uh, amethyst which is perfect for psychic development and psychic abilities and a tiger's eye which is also of the highest chakras which is of the psychic and uh psychic ability enhancer over here i got two big quartz crystals which is really going to amp up the energy around me and make sure it's pure clean and flowing got more amethyst i got fire connecting to that elemental flame right Ultimately, what we want to do with the environment is make it as mystical as possible. We need to be able to connect to spirit. Like, in order to do psychokinesis, especially if you're new to this, you need to be able to be a little kid, to get into an environment that's different, that allows you to think differently, that allows you to see differently, right? So by making this environment as sacred, mystical, or like, kind of like special as possible, helps for what we're gonna do next. Because essentially we have to cast out all judgments, open our eyes with a new perception, and expand our awareness into places we haven't expanded it before. A different, a change in environment and a mystical setting really helps us. The last note I wanna mention 
it is 11.55 at night right now. And if you know anything about the night and the moon, where the mystics and the psychics reside, black magic, night magic, same thing. Psychic abilities are more active during the night. This is for two reasons. One, it's a mystical time. Two, your body is tired and your mind is awake. Think about that slap happy feeling that you get around 10 p.m. where your body was getting tired and you're about to go to sleep, but then you get that second jump of energy. This is, the per this is where the creatives thrive, right? This is also where the psychics thrive because body asleep, mind awake, means psychic abilities can enter through more. This is because to, in order to enter, to open our perception to the sixth, sen uh, sixth sense, in order to perceive the subtle fields, we need to diminish our awareness of the five physical senses and open our awareness to the sixth and seventh sense, intuition and uh, extrasensory perception. You notice all this action over here with the smoke. That's actually just telekinetic connection. And you're gonna notice when I put this side wheel onto the spinner, there's also gonna be movement. If I leave the room for a while, all the movement will stop. But I'll make another video showing this and describing why. Just know that my telekinetic uh, connection and my energetic field is very, very strong, especially tonight, why I'm making this video. So know that I'm super te uh, telekinetically connected to the side wheel, but this video is focusing on psychokinesis. The difference between telekinesis and psychokinesis, psychokinesis is moving chi in and out of the hand, connecting it to foreign objects, right? And interacting with that energetic field. Telekinesis is all mind, is moving the energetic fields around you with just your imagination, awareness, and thoughts. So know that I'm very connected but we're gonna be focusing on psychokinesis. First thing we need to do, establish an energetic flow, a connection with the above and below and heart center. I have a full video on called Healing Hands activating the hands and this is exactly what we need to do here the first step in this is activating the full energy flow breathe in from above breathe in from the below expand the heart center into the aura this is very pure loving light okay build a full sensory experience of energy of light imagine you're sitting here in a light body breathing in energy moving it in these swirls connecting it to all the chakras don't get too complicated just focus on breathing in light and exhaling out impurity. Feel every inch of your body. Let light and energy flow through all those cells as if they're breathing by themselves. Right here, it'd be a very good purchase to get my 10 best meditation techniques for energy work. This will really accelerate um, how much energy you can move, which is key for doing psychokinesis on bigger scales to a higher degree. Once we have energy activated, we need to activate the hands, the focal point for where we're gonna be uh, storing energy and releasing it. So what we wanna do is imagine a white gloves of energy around the hands. Breathe energy into them as if your hands are breathing. Breathe through your whole body and pull it into your hands. Upon exhale, release from your hands and allow it to uh, flow out. I don't want to make this too complicated for this video. Take what I said, apply your own intuition ingenuity and try it out. But ultimately, just using this imagination and becoming more aware of this stuff, that's all we need to do for this video. Okay. Now, be, become very sensitive of your hands. Allow every pinprick sensation, tingle, pressure to happen. Allow everything to occur. Feel everything. The key to psychokinesis is not trying to control the object. 
is not trying to control the energy. It is simply trying to feel more, have more perception, have more awareness, feel more, no matter what it feels like. We cannot judge good or bad. We cannot expect to feel anything and we cannot attach to any feeling good or bad. We must feel all. Every breath in, compress light and energy into everything you can feel. On every breath out, release everything in your hand and around your hand and allow your perception to expand just a little bit to this white club surrounding your hands. This is activating the energetic system and flowing and charging up the hands. This is key for psychokinesis. So we have energy flowing from the above and below, pure white light that is pooling in our heart center. And when we exhale, it's being sucked out of our hands into this white glove, which we now, it's the focal point of our energetic field. After you're done expanding your sensitivity, expanding your awareness, and really being very mindful, tranquil, in a good environment, we need to become playful, okay? I said this before, but we need to be like a child. We need to try new things. We need to have fun. We need to not care about the outcome. We need to not care about what we're doing. Just do it. Have fun with it. Play around. Don't be too serious. Don't be too trying to control too much. And don't get frustrated. This process, it, psychokinesis can, does work. And it can work for you. As long as you try it with an open mind. Break down old beliefs. Break down old judgments. And try something new playfully, open-heartedly, and fully. A quick note on the side wheel. My side wheel is probably an inch and a half by an inch and a half of aluminum foil. You fold it four ways, right? Like a, like a pyramid. Set the pyramid down, flatten it out a little bit. Push your finger into the top to make it rounded out. Put a needle into something, any kind of holder. I have clay. You can use safety pins, any kind of needle. Place it on top. This psi wheel is a very reactive, um, easily influenced object. These are ideal for learning psychokinesis because they respond to the subtle fields very easy. What we want to do, now that we have charged the energy, charged up the hands, and are in this mystical, sacred, spiritual environment and mindset, playing like little children, we need to breathe light into our hands, and when we let release, let it flow into the wheel. It flows out of the seven portals, the fingers on each spiral, the center of the hand, and the bottom of the palm. Breathe energy into them and let it flow out all the portals, okay? This is like creating a force field away from your hand. You can try to build a side, a side ball if you want. I have a video on that. Go watch Healing Hands. Move the chi around. Get it all activated. Flow it through the whole body, right? Loosen up. Now release everything and we're about to begin.
Now I'm going to give you a few techniques for actually doing the psychokinesis. In fact, this isn't as important as to build up, teaching you to clear your mind, the energetic activation, imagination, mindfulness, environment, playful mentality is far more important than how you specifically start moving objects and connecting with the wheel and externalizing your chi force because that is very, very relative to you. So I want you to try to connect with the wheel. So this has its own energy because everything is energy in this universe. This is energy. Your hand has energy focused into it. It is charged up. So you need to connect your hand with the wheel. Ways to do this is try feeling the wheel as if it's your own hand. Expand your perception into the wheel. By bringing your awareness and perception into a foreign object, you actually flow energy there. Because where our attention and awareness goes, energy flows. So try to connect with the wheel. Try to feel the wheel. Also, you could try to flow light from your hand into the wheel. Focus on one spot and imagine light coming out from all your fingertips and a big beam from the center of your hand hitting that spot and moving it. When you breathe in, try pulling that spot. When you breathe out, try pushing that spot. The left hand is usually receptive. It moves, it pulls energy in. The, the right hand, it, under the pillows, pillar of severity, is electric. It pushes energy, okay? So try, experiment with your own thing. I just gave you a few prompts to go off of. <clears throat> and then I'm just gonna show you like two minutes of me just like trying different te techniques, experimenting, using my own ingenuity, imagination, intuition, and uh, yeah, those three things. With conformity with my intent and will to manipulate and cause change. This is magic, okay? So I want you to try different things. Use what I said, but depending on how the wheel reacts to you, what kind of movement and uh, reaction you get alter what you're doing try different things alter it based off the feedback you receive and develop your own imagination develop your own understanding of what you're doing because that is the most important part and then keep building keep trying keep practicing the very last key I want to go into just by building a wheel like this and setting it up on your desk somewhere where you will see it every day every morning <clears throat> You begin to build a connection with the object. You see a brand new wheel you, you are not connected to, but one that you've seen every day, you're very connected to. And that movement becomes super intuitive, okay? Because at the end of the day, the very end of all of this, if you have mastered psychokinesis with an object, if it is no longer in the imagination, it is no longer in the realm of thought, it is the same way you move your hand. Okay, there's, there's no thought about it. It's just a feeling and you do it. It's the same thing here. What we're trying to do is get down to the feeling. What does it feel like to move that object one way? What does it feel like to connect and move it the other? We're trying to break it down to the feeling by building a connection, connecting two objects. Practicing, we, it becomes second nature. That's telekinetic right now, sorry. <laughs> I need to move my awareness somewhere else.
So right here, you kind of see me battling telekinetically against psychokinetically, being chi force versus mind. And I'm kind of, I don't want to go too far into doing psychokinesis right now because number one, it's pretty difficult with having just talked and doing this. I like to do it when I'm in a very zen state. So it's very difficult to make a video doing it. Um, I'll probably publish another one later. I just want to get into a few keys that will either be hindering or helping your psychokinetic experience. Key number one, play around, okay? Move the wind and stuff like with your hands, like just play around, be very playful. Don't start getting too connected to like doing one thing. Do many things. What we're looking for is any reaction with um, your intention, like any reaction with something you felt like a connection, okay? Because when an object's already in motion, it's much easier to manipulate the motion, to put a trim tab on a cruise ship to move the cruise ship instead of turning it around instantly. Right there, you saw me trying to redo the spin the other way. But if you have energy built up, flowing in one direction, it is hard to counter that direction. This is why changing directions becomes difficult. Um, other keys would be make sure you always recenter yourself, reground yourself. And oh, if you're ever having sh having a uh, struggle like connecting, take a deep breath and really visualize light for a little bit, and then go back to like trying to feel it and connect with it. The last thing, we are not trying to control the wheel. We are building a relationship. You want to feel it fully. You want to perceive the wheel in its entirety and you will gain mastery over it. This is like all kinesis is. I thank you for watching. This is Reality Files. This was the Psychokinesis Comprehensive Guide. Super quick. Doesn't really get too de in depth into crystals, diet, like a PK diet of high electrical foods, the meditations, the energy work, the extrasensory techniques, the everything that goes into developing as a spiritual psychic being, everything that goes into opening and accessing the higher chakras, the air chakras, and the psychic centers. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button, go watch my other videos. Please share this one if you enjoyed it, and let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching.